what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be checking out the last kingdom season one episode two i thoroughly enjoyed the first episode so i hope you guys are ready to jump into the second one i am curious to know what happens next because we got uthrid uthrid okay we got the boy you know coming back for his kingdom of bebbin bug <laughs> you know coming back for his kingdom because he believes it belongs to him because it does belong to him he's the ear but what i thought was going to happen i thought he was going to pull up and be like yo i'm back you got to take me in but his uncle is so freaking like he wants to kill him so bad because you know as long as uthrid is alive he doesn't have any right to the kingdom, and I'm surprised that everybody is just going along with him. That's the thing about the story that I'm not quite, could be a bit of a plot hole, but I'm I'm not going to call it a plot hole yet because they might explain that. You get what I'm saying? It's just that, how is it that he wants to kill the next ear of this kingdom, right? And nobody is challenging this except the priest. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's a bit of like, it's offish for me because it's like, there's no understanding for that. But I guess they'll set that up. I'm hoping they do. Okay. That doesn't mean I'm going to enjoy this any less than I'm already, than I already am. It's just that I'm just pointing that out. That's what I do on this channel. There's certain things when it comes on to storytelling that you want to see and you want to see play out. And I got to give them time to do that. I can't just, I'm just telling you that that's something that I notice right now. That's all that is okay so i'm gonna jump in this into this episode and i will see you guys for the review all right season one episode two is in the books and man oh man they're building on this story and i'm loving it loving it anyways um two episodes in and i can truly say that i'm really warming up to this series i like the storytelling they're taking time to tell the story not loading it up with a bunch of action this is one of the reasons why i consider game of thrones to be the goat even though that gap is slowly closing this on some tv shows that i've seen after game of thrones or even before too because of how you know the ending really because i mean before that the gap was really wide but now it's a little bit closer um so as i said one of the reasons that i really love game of thrones is because of that early storytelling of building up the lore in the story and to help you to understand what kind of universe that this that it is in that first season um, and they're doing the same here, even though I'm kind of, as I said before, I'm kind of used to this because I'm coming straight from watching Vikings. So this is a different take on the, probably the same story, but you know, a little, it's, it's, a, it's different. It's different. I love the characters. I love Brita. I love Uthrid, you know. I love these characters that they introduced. Of course, we know Aethelred. In, in Vikings, Aethelred never became the king. Um, he was killed. You know, um, oh, oh, damn. Probably you guys haven't seen Vikings. I shouldn't say that. Oh, damn it. Might have to cut that out. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, so he never became king. But I know Alfred... We know Alfred became king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm probably going to have to come try to remember to cut that out of the out of the review. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, I like where it's heading. At least now they'll be able to trust Uthrid. You get what I'm saying? At least now they'll be able to trust them because of the information that he just gave them. So you gain their trust. Let him take you in and they can start fighting back and starting to build England, you know, against the Danes because they've taken so much already. The only kingdom that's left is Wessex right now because everywhere else has kind of surrendered to the Danes, surrendered to the Vikings. So, you know, um, 
but what I want you guys to do in the comment section is tell me which one of the stories is closer to the real history of what happened. Tell me which one. I want to know that. Don't tell me what the history is, but tell tell me what the um yeah. Tell me what which one of them if is Vikings if you've seen it, Vikings the Last Kingdom, which one of them is the closest to the actual story of how this shit went down back in the day, okay? Because I'm pretty sure some of y'all know, because um, people, you know, when I was watching Vikings, it was people that would come on the channel leaving comments and tell me stuff about the real history, videos I should watch, and all that good stuff. So let me know which one is closer, if it's The Last Kingdom, or Vikings is the closer one to the real history of you know how the Danes came to England and all of this other stuff like I need to know which one is the closest I know you're gonna have characters that never existed in history some they're gonna take the names and stuff like that build their own story I know that but I want to know as in the undertaking or the overtaking of you know the war between the Danes and the Eng and the English I want to know which one is the closest one to it don't tell me what happened in this series I just want to know which one of them so far is the best demonstration or the closest demonstration of the actual history that happened um so yeah man i'm really enjoying this is it's really telling a very very comprehensive story i love how they're building 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 up you know close calls all of that good stuff i like it i like the um you know the little moments between between uthrid and brita i love those moments because at least throughout all the seriousness and all this other stuff you know you can get a little laugh in the air and there um uthrid is a pretty funny dude like I like how his relationship with 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 Brita. I don't think the the other the lords really like the idea of a woman in the council and all of this other stuff, you know. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. You know, they're pretty against. They were, you know, Dan Jane. <laughs> you know, I I don't know. I just I don't like. I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? But I know it's that's how history used to be. They gotta they gotta stay authentic to it. It's just that when men look at women like that and a certain way it just kind of bugs me in a way because i'm like it's the same thing when it comes on to you know when you talk about racism and all this other stuff it's the same it's in the same vein of things is is just like you're treating somebody based on something they cannot change about themselves and you're treating them bad you get what i'm saying you're treating them less than human treating them less than yourself less equal you get what I'm saying? There's no such thing as less equal. Why am I even saying that? You know what I'm saying? You're treating them as if they're not equal to you. You get what I'm saying? Like they can't know the same stuff that you know and all this other stuff. I look at it in the same vein as racism, which is sexism, right? So I look at it in the same vein. It's the same thing. You hate somebody for something or you don't treat them the same way. Not necessarily hate, but you don't treat them the same way. You don't give them the same opportunities based on something they can't change about themselves whether it be skin color whether it be gender you get what i'm trying to say so that's just how it is i don't like that so um it's always going to be a little bit cringy for me but i know it's to stay authentic to the times that they're setting this stuff in so i'm good with that um so yeah man i appreciate the the love that you guys have been showing i appreciate this the show man and shout out to alexander once again i don't know if it was him that was the first one that suggested the last kingdom to me but i'm sending a shout out to him anyways um but anyways um thank you guys so much for all of you guys that recommended the show i'm appreciating it as i said before you guys can expect at least one episode per upload it's not going to be double uploads i'm kind of slowing down slowing back down on things but know that you're going to see things you're going to see these episodes more often you won't have to wait you know a week to see one episode you know there's not going to be no one episode per week um you know so i'm gonna make sure these are up on the channel make sure you're getting them good and game good stuff okay i am also um just to let you guys know you know what i'm not gonna say that on this video 
I need to end this. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all. Leave a like on the video if you love my reaction to it. And also, leave a comment in the comments and let me know if you're hyped for me to see the rest of the season. And also, subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and peace.